Hey yo, what's going on guys, your boy here, and today we're going to be looking at the BMC Mono inside of Southwest Florida. This car is an insanely cool looking track toy, and we'll be looking at this and everything about it. Now before we do, I want to let you guys know that I'm not actually home, this is day one of me on vacation. This is a pre-recorded video, so if there's an update or something, I'm not even home. I just pre-recorded this and then set it to upload today, so yeah my bad but yeah we're gonna be looking at this car and everything about it now before we do as well i also want to let you guys know that i do get a roblox group with the roblox merch i got a discord group you can join and i got some social you can follow all the links are in the description below also my name is hypod do car reviews car things all the car stuff so if you guys do like this video hit that like button subscribe and hit that bell for notifications every time i upload a new video but yeah day one of vacation starting now but why don't we go into the video and uh yeah so what we're going to do is we're going to go to the dealership here and check out the price of this car so it's in the supercar section all the way down here at the bottom for $169,000. this car only has 280 horsepower and it weighs a thousand pounds so it's actually relatively expensive compared to its uh, horsepower but let's check it out we're gonna be upgrading this car as well and checking the upgraded version of this out as well but yeah why don't we hop into it and let's listen to its startup so go in here and let's listen to this beauty turn on so let's go all the way to its exhaust and just listen to it I do like that a lot. That actually sounds pretty, pretty nice. It has a very clean exhaust now, except for the fact that my hand is now coming out of the meshing and holding on to the carbon fiber for dear life. Um, yeah. But yeah, why don't we continue on? I want to do the rev test real quick and see if we can rev this bad boy up. It spits flames. It sounds nice. That's pretty much a win for me. We got the buttons right here. We got the little buttons right here uh, for the blinkers, and we got the light right there for the blinkers as well. We got the little uh, circle light right there, circle light right there, and let's go to the back, circle light right here, and circle light right there. Very, very nice. Now, it is getting very cloudy here in Southwest Florida. You know what that means? We got to get to our tests, and this car is really low to the ground. I actually, oh, there we go. Yeah, so, we're going to get the car going onto the street, and then we're going to do the top speed test and see how fast this car can go and how fast it accelerates. So, we turned track control off just now. We're going to line our car up right here. And then once we line our car up, we'll just send it. And after we send it, we're going to come back around, do a turn test. And we're going to go to the dealership. And then we're going to upgrade it and see its new top speed and see if anything changed about the car. Well, let's back it up, put it right there, rev it up, and send it. So in three, two, one, go. All right, track control off, no tire spin, but we're going. And uh, we're actually flying. With no upgrades, we're already going off the line. Let's turn traction control back on here. We are... Going 170 really quickly. The top speed right now is 172. Really quick acceleration breaking now. So I got that post right there. Breaking is pretty good. I do like that. Um, it's pretty comparable if I were to just imagine, you know, all the checkpoints from the one that's all the way down the end of the street. It has some pretty, pretty good um, braking. Now, why don't we go to the turn test? Now, I did already miss my turn test location, but don't worry, boys and girls. We got ourselves a secondary turn test location that I'm making up on the spot. But first few turns, this car, absolute track beast. I mean, it turns like it's nothing. Let's be real here. It, it just, it is going. And I want to go to the drive through really quick. Look at, I, I don't know what I was expecting there. But I mean, it turns it very, very well. Even that little sharp turn right there and that multi-turn, it handled it really, really well. That was a little bit wide on me. But why don't we go over to the dealership where we will now upgrade this car to its maximum and see how well this car does. As you can see, this number started off at 180 million today. We're going to end off at maybe 70 million in the next 10 days. It's going to be very upsetting because I won't have any cash anymore. Okay, so why don't we put some customizations on the car. Pump paint on here. We got black, we got, we got this gray, we got the red, and we got obviously the white as well. When we go back to the performance mods, but we will now upgrade this car to its absolute maximum potential. 300 horsepower there, 353 horsepower here. Oh my god, I'm losing so much money on these videos now with these upgrades, I swear. And then we got body kids. Oh god, I'm gonna have to leave my computer AFK grinding for way too long. Okay. Tires, let's add grip tires. Let's go to our transmission. We will add race transmission. And we're not going to do the suspension this time around because the car actually kind of manages itself suspension-wise. But now, this car is ultra slidey and it is now ultra sunny out here in southwest Florida. So, let's see how well this car does in our modified test. We can probably make this... Oh my god. Okay, so... First thing you notice, this car is ultra slidey, but also insanely quick. We're going to turn traction control off, and we're going to send it. So, turn traction control off there, put it right here, and then just, like, just go. See how that goes. 
We're at 60. We're almost. We're. Do not turn. We're good. 172. We are the fastest car on the street. Braking. Braking is. Well, it was really good. Yep. Mm hmm. Nothing changed there. This car is just incredibly quick for no reason. Like, look. Let's see. We're going to pass. We're going to start right here. All right. We're going to put it into neutral. And then we're just going to go to the other end of this turn. Right there. We're not very far. See how fast we can go. We just went 50 past that in like not even a second. That is crazy. Why don't we do a turn test though? First turn. No gas. Car handles it very well. Put some gas into it and now we're drifting. Put some gas into it and we're also going. But I mean, even while drifting, it's really controlled. I could easily drift this car if I wasn't bad at drifting. But I mean, it's not too bad of a car overall. It does slide if you're turning and holding the gas down. But other than that, Upgrading the car only just makes it go well, to its top speed at about mock Jesus. Other than that, upgrading it, probably not worth it. But yeah, what do you guys think about this car? Leave in the comments below. It's also day, day one. My bad if I'm not here. If there's an update, I'm sorry. But yeah, what do you guys think about this car? I'll try to respond to all the comments um, as I go. But yeah, I'll see you guys soon. So yeah, what do you guys think? Leave in the comments below. And uh, I will see you guys in tomorrow's video, which is also pre-recorded. But yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.